Hi everyone, I'm Gradles, and welcome to a new episode of City Skylines. This is New Brighton, and this is the new glass box hub that we added in our last episode. It is getting used quite a lot, as you can see from all the people in there. It's quite busy. In today's episode, we're going to use the other new DLC pack that we got which is bridges and piers and we're going to add some keys down along the uh, river over here and I think this is just begging for a key uh, we have this beautiful amusement park with the monorails coming right along the side here so I think this would make an awesome place for a nice key now in between episodes, I did add some of our bri uh, bridges here. Uh, we did pedestrian bridges. Um, I did this off camera because it took, I would say, almost two hours uh, just putting in all these paths uh, up and over. And I got them coming on both sides. Um, and it just took way, way too long. Uh, but... This is the nice European path, uh, and it comes down, and these come across. I think these are the zoo paths, actually. Uh, I use some of those, and then over in here is the American paths. They're a little narrower, so I just like the wide look of the European coming across, and yeah. So let's go ahead and get down over to here. And if you're new to my channel and you've never seen my content before, um, I do a lot of Let's Plays in City Skylines. Um, I do tips, tricks, how to grow your city, how to make some money, just how to be successful making a new city in City Skylines. And I do do a couple of other games as well, uh, but this is my main game that I like to play. Um, so... Yeah, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, uh, comment. So let's go ahead and get into this. So we're going to go into our landscaping tool here. And we're going to go to the content creator. And that's bridges and piers. And I think we're going to use these steps. And I'm going to just turn off snapping. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to get this as close to the edge of uh, the street here as possible and turning off snapping can kind of give you a much closer uh, feel here as you can see and without see that and sometimes this is just easier if you really want to get close and I'm just using the street right now just because it's working if it didn't work I would try the curved but I really want it as close to this street as possible so I'm just gonna keep working this around this edge very slow increments and we'll see how it looks all right so let's just get this really really close it could be a little bit finicky at times but as long as you're patient and you just keep working it around It should work. Now this corner is a little hard. So we kind of have that sidewalk and it's two different streets. I'm going to try changing the street over and seeing if that helps. Uh, just a minute. Because that is an, a highway exit. 
And we're gonna try getting it pretty close. Let's come a little closer to the edge here. And then we should be able to turn it in a little bit better right off in this section. There we go. And then we'll switch that back over to the highway exit. We'll upgrade that to the ramp. And it is going in the right direction. Now we did get that little bit there. I'm not too worried about it. We're just going to take a overview of our key here. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, we got it very close to the sidewalk. There is a lot of this tan uh, dirt showing up and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you a little bit of a tip in this and if you go to your paths and you use the concrete one and you keep it off the road and you keep it onto your key you should be able to kind of fill in this gap just a bit now over here it's going to be hard because of the uh, the way the ramp is but we should be able to do this with the rest of it if we just come down like this It's kind of tough to get in this spot. Um, there's no really workaround in this. I've tried playing around with it. It just doesn't work. So, yeah, we're just going to have to leave that. All right, so let's get a little closer look on this. There's a little bit of a lip there, and we do have a little bit of this dirt. But overall, it looks a lot more... Uh, smooth and from a distance it just looks better um, and if you would like I want to show you a little bit of the other keys and we can do that just by going into the landscaping and we're just going to upgrade now I'm not going to turn the game back on because I don't want it to change the water or anything like that but let's just come down to here so that is one other type that we could have used, but I just like the step down better. Um, they do have this one, which is really nice. And they have quite a few. I have a video. If you're interested, I'll put the link below. I did a review and uh, a walkthrough of all the uh, packs. And... Um, yeah, you get a better idea. So, but overall, I just like this one better. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to leave this episode off here. Um, I hoped it helped you to put in your keys. Uh, like I said, it's very much uh, easier if you turn off the snapping on some of it. Some of it doesn't look smooth sometimes, but if you go in small increments, it does work. And filling in with the paths definitely, definitely makes it look a lot nicer. So yeah, um, if you like my content and would like to see more, please click the like button and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>